Hi, YouTubers and web series everywhere. It's MargaretGeorgeTune.com. I'm back with another video. Hey, we are just right there at Boom Lather. Check it out. We're doing a head shave. You can always already see that I have my my pre-shave lather in place. I've got about two days worth of hair growth, and we are going to shave that off. Now, the uh, point of this exercise isn't so much the shave, but the post-shave, what we're going to use for the post-shave. So hang in there with me while we get through this head shave. Shouldn't take us that long. And I am using uh, a Bay Rum scented shave soap from the Basic Soap Company. I bought this last year at an Ox Roast, Ox Roast Flea Market, and they had a table set up there. They also have a website, although I haven't seen much activity on the website. So if I get to another, oh, you know, another event this summer and they're there, I'll ask them what's going on. But a nice Bay Rum scented shave soap with some nice performance. Now I also have this Terrific, terrific uh, lathering bowl here. This came from uh, Farmhouse Stoneware. It's for sale by the uh, gentleman there who owns Basic Soap Company, and you can also buy it from Farmhouse Stoneware. <laughs> Again, I haven't seen much activity on uh, their website either. So if I do get some updates on that, I'll let you know. But uh, both of these, I believe, are local vendors, local artisans in the area. So, uh, not sure what uh, what is going on. I think they mostly do work. They mostly sell at uh, some of these uh, local festivals, ox roasts, fairs, that sort of thing. Ox, ox roasts, <laughs> ox roasts, fairs, those kinds of uh, summer um, summer festival sale areas. Let's put it here that way. Uh, I'm going to be using my Supply SE uh, razor with the. Uh, what is that called? That, that beautiful thin guard there. Mixed stop technology. That's what it's called. Yeah, I like that a lot. And we're going to heat this up under some hot, hot, hot water. All right. Well, actually, this is not 30 degrees. This is 15 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. Boy, love this razor. Love this razor for head shapes. Absolutely love this razor for head shapes. All right. Yeah, nice protection from this soap. A nice bay rum scent. And you know what? It's I got it last year, and it has been sitting in this lathering bowl open like this all this time. And I added some water, and uh, the scent, very present. Uh, really nice. Really, really terrific. I mean, a good, a good quality shave soap. I hope... Uh, I run into uh, this gentleman again because uh, I'd like to get some more. Uh, I like it a lot. I really do. Really, really terrific. Boy, I love this razor for head shape. I really do. Just some great, great blade feel. And uh, just this mix stop technology really does work. Uh, it's just terrific. As I say, this is my go-to for a head shave. Some other mild DE razors out there that I could use as well. And I got some, I think I got some, like, like it's summertime, so I got some <laughs> bug bites and whatnot up there. But um, this razor is, um, I guess you could say aware of it. It really just it does a nice mild job. You get a little bit more water in there. Uh, it does a nice mild job of kind of uh, just skipping over those areas. So we're going to go ahead and uh, get some more on here and maybe do a little bit of a lather this way here like this. That's what we got in the bowl there. You can see the puck there. Yeah, I'm going to need a little bit of water here. Okay, just like that. Oh yeah, that's terrific. No rule says you can't do that. Yeah, kind of, little, kind of like a combination of building a lather in this bowl here, but then doing kind of a face lather. And uh, that works out nicely, a nice change of pace. Yeah, again, just a terrific, terrific lather. Nice protection, 
wonderful bay rum scent. Really nice. Not overly so. A nice subtle scent. Now, it may have dissipated over a year. I'm not sure, but it's very nice. Very, very present. And again, I've got some nice lather there. And just, oh yeah, look at that. A real nice coating. Okay. I'm going to set that aside. I love this. I love this bowl. I absolutely love this bowl. It has these little indents right here to where it fits very nicely in the hand. It's really very unique. I like it a lot. Haven't used it in a while. I'm so glad I pulled it out for this shave. Okay, we're going to go with pass number two. We're going to go back to front. And again, I'm just light touch. Got some, got some of those areas there. That uh, again, maybe a bug bite or two. I don't know, mosquitoes, whatever else. You know, you're outside and you're enjoying the. Uh, the weather and then all of a sudden you find out later you got a bite up there yeah I'm gonna go uh, front to back here or up above I think I got enough of that really on the first pass to where I really don't have to get any more of that but I'm gonna get a little bit here I'm gonna get a little bit here boy this soap gave me some nice protection and I'm just kind of uh, Moving my hand around and moving some of that excess. Let's take this lather here like this. I got some on my hand here. That's enough right there. I usually take it off my brush. I'm going to take it off of other areas here and just just a light touch up. Boy, that's that's terrific. Yeah, that's nice. Very, very nice. I'm just touching up a little bit here, here and there. Okay, a little bit right, right over here. Get a little closer there. And that side seems to be okay. Maybe a little bit right here. All right. I think that's got it. Maybe, maybe just a little bit right here. Some nice slickness from this soap, and I think the pre-shave also comes into play because I didn't rinse it off. Okay, gotta be careful right back there. Felt something back there. Gotta be real careful. Yeah. Just a little bit right here. Okay. All right. All right, I'm going to do my final rinses, and then I'll be back. To wrap things up with the post shave routine Allen block and a little bit of a surprise with what we're going to use, so hang in there with me. Okay, that's got it. I did catch a little bit of a nick back here. There's something back there, a little bit of those, like I say, a little raised area, probably a little insect bite of some kind, just a little bit. And I'm um, just applying that there, and you can see just a little bit there. See that? little redness there. That's the only thing that that uh, is uh, bothersome from this shave. And again, you can see just barely, it's starting to coagulate a little bit from the from the cold water. So it's nothing major. Here's my Allen block right here. And we're going to uh, run this under some cold water and see what kind of zinging and stinging we get. All right, here we go. Other than that, a nice Nice, nice shave. Now here, I'm getting to that area right there, right there. Okay, yeah, a little bit of a zing there. Yeah, but it's closing up. That's good. So it's, again, it's not, it's nothing that's major. And, uh, yeah. Okay. 
I, I think it was just a little insect bite back there, but luckily for me, this razor does such a nice job. And um, the shave soap gave some nice protection, as did the Cube 2.0 uh, for my pre-shave lather. So that's really nice. Yeah, and I got some zinging back here also, but again, just all in all, a nice, nice result. Yeah, that's good. It tells me I got a nice close shave. It's very, very smooth. Yeah, but again, back here, if I hold this here for about 20 seconds or so, let's just count 1,000 to 10, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, 1,006, 1,007, 1,008, 1,009, 1,010. That should, that should take care of it. Yeah, okay. Nothing there. All right, let me just rinse that off just a little bit like that. And then uh, what do I have here? Well, I got another washcloth here that I was going to use in case I needed it because I used a washcloth to do that final head rinse there. We're going to set that in the uh, case there. That's the pearl shaving alum block. All right, here is the point of this exercise. We're going to make our own scented aftershave balm. We're going to use Grand Bay Bay Rum. Thanks to Mark Bagwell for sending along this wonderful bay rum splash it does not have a restrictor in the bottle um but it's an absolutely fantastic fantastic bay rum scent and there it is no restrictor so we're going to just use our finger right here like that to have it act as a restrictor and we're going to go ahead and apply that like that oh that's marvelous oh yeah that's great <laughs> Slap some back there and get some added antiseptic qualities. All right. And now we're going to use Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Lotion. This is fragrance free right there. This was recommended by Rodney Ripplinger in order to make an aftershave balm. So we're going to get a pump or two like that. And once more, I'm going to get some, a drop or two of the Bay Rum, and I'm gonna mix this together. And there we go with our aftershave balm. And let's see how this works. Oh, that works nicely. Oh yeah, the Bay Rum is there. That's fantastic. That is really great. <laughs> wow. That's marvelous. Wow, what a great head shave with some great ingredients, but this post-shave routine of using a really, really terrific Bay Rum, Grand Bay Bay Rum right here, along with um, a Vino Daily Moisturizing Lotion, fragrance-free. You combine these two and you get a great post-shave, after-shave balm. Absolutely fantastic. My thanks to Mark Bagwell for very kindly sending along the Grand Bay Bay Rum to the channel. Mark, thank you very, very much. And a big thank you to Rodney Ripplinger for suggesting a Vino Daily Moisturizing Lotion combining with some other aftershave splashes to make your own aftershave scented balm. Thanks very much, gentlemen. I really do appreciate it. All right, that's it. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. Please share, please subscribe, please like, hit that bell so it'll give me a yell the next time I upload a video. Comment below, let me know. Check out all the wonderful artists and soap makers and sellers that you see displayed on the bottom of the screen right now. They make and offer some wonderful artists and shave soap. They also offer some wonderful wet shaving gear to enhance your traditional wet shave. The next time you're online, please take a moment, pay them a visit. I sure would appreciate it. Thank you very much. Also, check out my Amazon product page at Amazon.com slash shop slash marks or 80 where you'll find all the amazon listed products that i review in this channel organized and categorized so you can find everything in a snap very easily thanks very much for tuning in again i really do appreciate it i'll see you again real soon